So what happens when you write a put option? So for just to make things a little bit easier, we'll start with um, what happens when you buy a put option and then we'll go to what happens when you write a put option. So let's look at an example. Apple currently trading at 198.78. Uh, that's the closing price as of June 21st. Um, so let's look at our spreadsheet. We are going to be working on Apple. Current spot price is 198.78. And uh, we're going to be writing a call option. But again, we're going to start with what happens when you buy it. So uh, let's look at a strike price of uh, 200. And then we'll simulate different prices and we'll look at exercise value. We are focusing on the exercise value for just to make things a little bit simpler because the premium gets too, a bit too complicated with so many unknowns going into calculation of the premium. So um, the current price is 198.78 um, and this is a put option and, and we are buying it. And again, we'll get to writing it in a minute. So, um, oh, the, the price of this option is, let's take a look. So this is one week, June 28th. Um, put option of 200 is $3.20. So at $200 put option, we have a right to sell at $200. And currently, Apple is trading at 198.78, so it is beneficial for us to exercise this option and sell at $200. And if we sell at 200 and buy it back from the market at 198.78, we realize an exercise value of $1.22. If the price goes down to 195, well, this is even better for us because we have a right to sell at $200. And then we could buy it back at 195 from the spot market in the in, in the market, spot price in the market, and our exercise value will be five dollars. If the price goes down to 190, well, again with the put option, we have a right to sell at 200, and we can buy at 190 back, realizing a ten dollar difference, ten dollar exercise value. These are all our profits. If in the meantime since we're simulating the prices, if the price goes up to 200, well, we're indifferent between exercising the option or selling it in the market, and therefore our exercise value is zero. If it is $205, well then, why should we exercise the option and sell to the option at 200 when we can sell it in the market at the spot price at 205, which makes our put option worthless? I mean, there's again, there's premium, but there is no exercise value. If the price goes to 210, again, we can simply sell in the market at $210. Why should we exercise the put option and sell at 200, which makes our exercise value zero? Now, there is size value after original purchase price. So we paid $3.20 for this. So what will be the exercise value after accounting for the $3.20 per share that we paid for this? So that's the exercise value minus the $3.20, which leaves us $6.80 of exercise value appreciation. So with the $5, again, we paid the same $3.20. It's a sunk cost. We paid it. Um, we're just not going to get it back. I mean, we will try to sell the option back and so, but at this point, it is a sunk cost and we're talking about exercising the option. Um, so at $5 exercise value, after considering the sunk cost of the original purchase of $3.20, we are left with $1.80 of the profit. At $1.22, paying $3.20, it turns out we actually lost about $2 on this one. And with respect to having no exercise value, at every value above and beyond um, the current strike price, we are going to end up losing the price that we paid for this option of $3.20. So as a buyer, 
because we bought a put option, the price, as the price goes down, we make money. As the price goes up, we lose money. So what happens, writer's outcome. So what happens if you're writing it? Well, options are zero sum game. So as the buyer, my profit is the writer's loss. My loss is the writer's profit. So it really is just the opposite. So what happens is as the price goes down, so let's say that the price goes down to say 100, exercise value would be 200 minus, and then the exercise after accounting for the per original purchase will be this much. So if the price were to go, up, go down to $100, as the writer, I would lose $96.80 per share on this written put option. If price goes down to 190, I would lose $6.80. Now notice the $3.20 is the only profit or the maximum profit that I could attain by writing this put option. So I am, as the writer now, taking an extreme level of risk of price going down and going down all the way to zero only for a limited profit of $3.20. So that's what happens when you write a put option. Thank you.